Hello, I'm author Denise Turney, and I am, you're watching the Chisco.com YouTube channel, and I want to wish you a happy Women's History Month, and I have my notes that I'm reading from, because I want to share some facts with you on Women's History Month, and I recently interviewed a guest, she's the author of the book, um, Mistress Suffragette, and Diana Forbes, and it's a it's an award-winning book, but she, it's, the women's suffrage movement, you know, happened in the late 1800s, and then through the early 1920s, 1930s, women were fighting for the right to vote and other rights that, that really, really pushing hard, not only in the United States, but around the country. So I just want to talk about some other facts relevant to Women's History Month, and just to share appreciation for all women who currently now and in the future, I'm thinking Harriet Tubman, Joan of Arc, and I'm thinking the women in the women's suffrage movement, Sojourner Truth, women who spoke out to make sure that women were not treated as second class citizens, but had a full, full seat, all rights at the table. So as we comm comm commemoration of women's National Women's History Month started in 1987, which is when you think of the women's suffrage movement and other uh, Harriet Tubman going with so many strong women, Madison C.J. Walker, Shirley Chisholm going way, way back. But this, the National the United States, National Women's History Month started in 1987. It may seem like the United States has been celebrating National Women's History Month longer because the women started pushing for better working conditions this, which is what drove this celebration as far back as March 8, 8, 1857. The Census Bureau shares that this push for improved working conditions started in New York City. And women wanted better factory working conditions. In 1909 is the year that the first Women's Day celebration was held. Again, the location was New York City. Women's History Week like Black History Week, didn't start as a month, but we kicked off in 1981. This week was held during the second week of March. So no surprise that Women's History Month is in March. And here are a few facts and cool stats about women in the United States. As of 2017, there are about 165.3 million women in the United States compared to 164 million men. This is as of 2017. The numbers of women 85 years of age and older outnumber men 85 years of age and older by about two to one. And about 47,118 women work full time. You can check this again with the Census Bureau. And this is as of 2017. Uh, 22 plus million of working women uh, work in, the men, women who work, of them 22 million work in management, business, science, and the arts fields. And women-owned businesses stay open as long as men own business. Of course, they don't start with as much, uh, they, they don't, their revenues aren't as, as strong as, as men's, particularly at the outset, but they do keep their businesses going and functioning equally as long. Examples of women breaking glass ceilings and stepping outside of comfort zones can have a lasting impact on today's girls, not to mention our economy, our families, culture, traditions, etc. For example, it's no longer shocking to hear that a woman is running for president. You start with Shirley Chisholm and then Hillary Clinton and, and Kamala Harris and and it, so many women who who are running for president who are running for president, Elizabeth Warren, etc. etc. Mullikin and Long Walk Up is a fictional story, speaking of women president, of Africa's first woman president. Wouldn't it be an anomaly if a woman running for president was just a normal thing? It was no longer this odd, odd thing. And we're getting there. We're starting to get there. This month, I pause to acknowledge courageous women who paved the path of success for others, mothers, grandmothers, aunts. Just leaders, leaders in the community, leaders in churches, in schools, in education, in science, in politics, that just touch so much, so many areas of our lives. These women range from Harriet Tubman, to Joan of Arc, to Barbara Jordan, to Madam C.J. Walker, to Amelia Earhart, and on and on and on and on and on. Encourage each of us 
to support women and young girls in their effort, efforts to keep moving, to keep advancing, to keep believing in themselves, to keep walking up. Please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our Chisto.com YouTube channel. And please visit me online and support my books at chistell.com. Thank you. See you back here next week.